Hello and welcome to my kitchen at home. Uh, now, I'm a massive believer that ice cream should be enjoyed all year round, no matter what the weather. And actually, I've been for ice cream twice this week, even though it's been freezing cold. So with that in mind, I'd like to share a recipe that's really quick and neat and actually not only uses some of your leftover honeycomb that you made, but also satisfies my need and potentially your need for a freezing cold sweet treat in autumn. So without further ado, let's make ginger and honeycomb ice cream cookies. So to start with, I'm gonna get my ice cream ready. I've got a 500ml tub of regular vanilla ice cream and I've used quite a hard one rather than a soft serve because it needs to be quite firm once you stir things through it. Break it up a little bit with a wooden spoon and then sprinkle some of your honeycomb in. I've got about 20 or 30 grams here. And just sprinkle it all in and mix it in really well. And you want to work fairly quickly because your ice cream is melting all the time. But once it's all stirred through, get a bit of greaseproof paper just to line your tub because we're going to put the ice cream back in there. And then just scoop it all back in and make sure you squish it down quite a bit. And now all you need to do is pop the lid on and whack it back in the freezer to firm up. You want to get it quite firm, so this will take at least four hours, but I like to do it overnight. The next thing that needs to happen is cookie making, and I'm going to be making a really tasty, gingery, spicy cookie. And these ones are perfect for ice cream sandwiches because they're really nice and thin, but they're really chewy. So I'm going to start by measuring my dry ingredients. And I've got 380 grams of plain flour. I'm just going to put that through a sieve. And two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda. Now it's time for the spices. Now I've got a half teaspoon of ground ginger, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. And the extra spices there are going to really enhance the ginger flavour. So now I'm going to put that to one side and get on with beating some butter and sugar together. And I've got 110 grams of soft unsalted butter and 225 grams of caster sugar. And I'm going to beat those together until they're pale and fluffy. That's had a couple of minutes, so now it is time to add a large free-range egg. And I'm also going to add 180 grams of golden syrup, and that's going to give this cookie a really nice chewy consistency and also make it taste amazing. If you can't find golden syrup, then you can use corn syrup, but it is really, really much better with golden syrup. And just beat that all together for about a minute until it's combined. And now it's ready to have the dry ingredients added and I'm just going to fold that together really slowly until it all comes together like a dough. Now what you should be left with is a squishy mouldable dough, so now it's time to make that into cookies. And I want my cookies to be exactly the same size throughout because I'm making sandwiches, so to have one big one and one small one's going to look really stupid. So I'm going to measure these with my scales, I'm going to measure them out in 30 gram balls. I'm rolling my cookie dough in sugar because that's going to give my cookies a really nice crispy caramelised outer coating. Now 30 grams is going to make about a 3 inch cookie, so you want to make sure you give them plenty of room on the tray so that they don't stick together. Now I've got quite a lot of cookie dough left in my mixer and um, this mix does make quite a lot of cookies so you can freeze this if you want so wrap it up really well stick it in the freezer maybe in a roll and then you can chop them up and bake them from frozen or you can keep it in the fridge for up to a week or you can just make all the cookies that you can uh, but I'm going to just bake these 12 and I'm going to bake them at 175 degrees C for about 12 or 13 minutes. Now they're quite puffy at the moment, but don't worry, they're going to flatten out as they cool down. My cookies have completely cooled down, so I've taken my ice cream out and it's nice and firm. And it's not that easy to get out, so I'm actually going to use a pair of scissors just to cut it out. Now you want to do this nice and quickly because it's melting all the time, so I'm just going to flip it onto its side. And because we've put it into a tub, which is pretty much a cylinder shape, all I need to do now is to slice it into thick slices. And then using your cookies, just sandwich your slices together. And you want to wrap these up in greaseproof paper and put them straight back into the freezer. So just do these one at a time.
Now before you serve your ice cream sandwiches, it's a good idea to keep them in the freezer for about an hour just to firm up. But luckily I made some earlier, so I am going to taste mine now. Mmm, that is delicious. And that ice cream, which was really easy to make, is so tasty with the honeycomb, which is kind of melting and oozing out. And this cookie is really lovely and spicy and perfectly chewy for an ice cream sandwich. That is a real belter of a recipe. So you're moments away, if you've got your ice cream, your honeycomb, and your cookie ingredients, you're moments away from a really tasty treat. Usually I've got all that sort of stuff lying around. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video, thanks so much for watching and if you have enjoyed it then please like it with the thumbs up and share it with your friends and even subscribe to my channel which you can do by clicking on the link at the end and that way you'll get lots of updates on when I upload um, which is particularly important coming up because it is Christmas time and I've got heaps of recipes for you guys. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Bye!